my Lord Provost, ladies and gentlemen, this most generous gift of the freedom of this great and historic city of Glasgow has given me a very large measure of quite undeserved pleasure. It is an honor, indeed it is an unexpected honor, for which I am both profoundly and humbly thankful. Several members of the royal family in years past have had the privilege of being freemen of this city, and I was particularly interested to see that the last Duke of Edinburgh was given the freedom in 1866, and on that occasion he inaugurated, I understand, a statue in George Square. At one time I was rather expecting to be asked to reverse his good work. <laughs> I'm glad to say that both the statue and I have been spared that awkward possibility. <laughs> Very naturally, and quite rightly, the freedom of this city is looked upon by those who give it and those who receive it as a very great honor indeed. And the ceremony is full of charm and dignity. Uh, unlike the um, ownership of Glasgow, which I understand can be obtained with a couple of drinks any Saturday night. <laughs> Throughout her long history, Glasgow has produced great men in abundance, in commerce and medicine, in shipbuilding and industry, and in the arts and science. And there is every reason to believe that she will go on doing so for a very long time to come. If, Gla if Glasgow has great people, she herself will grow in greatness to the pride of her citizens and as a strong support to the prosperity and stability of the British Islands and Empire. Thank you very much. <laughs>